Hello everyone and welcome to your favorite channel and today we'll be talking about 5 amazing space technologies. Before I start the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to remain updated. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. The Hubble Space Telescope, also known as HST or just Hubble, comes in 5th place. It was put into low orbit in 1990 and it's still working. It wasn't the first space telescope but it is one of the biggest and most useful. It is known for being both an important scientific tool and a good way for astronomy to get good press. One of NASA's great observatories, the Hubble Space Telescope is named after astronomer Edwin Hubble. The Goddard Space Flight Center GSFC, is in charge of the spacecraft, while the Space Telescope Science Institute chooses where Hubble will look and looks at the data it collects. Hubble has a 2.4 meter or 7 foot 10 inch mirror and five main instruments that look at the electromagnetic spectrum in the ultraviolet, visible, and near infrared ranges. Because Hubble is in orbit around the Earth, it is not affected by the way Earth's atmosphere bends light, so it can take pictures with much less background light than telescopes on the ground. It has taken some of the most detailed photos that can be seen, giving us a full view of space. Many of the things Hubble has seen have led to advances in astronomy, like figuring out how fast the universe is growing. Space telescopes were first thought of in 1923. NASA and the European Space Agency worked together in the 1970s to fund and build the Hubble telescope. It was supposed to take off in 1983, but technical problems, money problems, and the Challenger disaster in 1986 slowed the project down. Hubble was finally put into space in 1990, but its main mirror was ground wrong, which caused spherical aberration and made the telescope less useful. In 1993, a mission to fix things put the optics in the right place. Hubble is the only telescope that was made to be taken care of by people in space. All five of the telescope's main instruments have been fixed, improved, or replaced during five space shuttle missions. After the Columbia disaster in 2003, the fifth mission was canceled out of safety concerns. However, NASA Administrator Michael D. Griffin later gave the mission the green light and the HST was finished in 2009. It turned 30 in April 2020 and is expected to keep running until 2030 or 2040. Hubble includes the Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory. The fourth best thing is the spacesuit. Spacesuits are basically a piece of clothing that astronauts wear to keep them alive in the harsh conditions of space, such as the vacuum and the wide range of temperatures. Spacesuits are used for safety purposes inside spacecrafts. Modern spacesuits add to the basic pressure garment with a complex system of equipment and environmental systems that keep the wearer comfortable and make it easier to move the limbs. This counteracts the tendency of a soft pressure garment to get stiff in a vacuum, which is a natural effect of the pressure. A self-contained oxygen supply and environmental control system is usually used so that a person can move around without being tied to the spaceship. There are three different kinds of spacesuits, IVA, EVA, and IEVA, which stands for Intra-Extravehicular Activity. Because they are made to be worn inside a pressurized spacecraft, IVA suits are lighter and more comfortable. For example, the Gemini G4C suit is made to be worn both inside and outside the spacecraft. They include more protection from the harsh conditions of space, like from micrometeoroids and high temperature changes. The EMU and other EVA suits are worn outside of spacecrafts during spacewalks and trips to other planets. They must protect the wearer from all conditions in space and allow them to move around and be useful. Some of these rules also apply to pressure suits used for high-altitude reconnaissance flights and other specialized tasks. At heights above the Armstrong limit, which is about 19,000 meters or 62,000 feet, water boils at the same temperature as the human body. This means that pressurized suits are needed. As early as the 1930s, individuals came up with the first full-pressure suits for use at high altitudes. In 1961, Yuri Gagarin was the first person to wear a spacesuit. He wore the Soviet SK-1 suit. The third best is the Kepler Space Telescope, which NASA launched in 2009 to find Earth-sized planets orbiting other stars. It has since been taken out of service. The spacecraft, which was named after the astronomer Johann Kepler, was sent into a heliocentric orbit that follows the Earth. William J. Baruki was in charge of looking into the case. After nine and a half years of use, the telescope's reaction control system ran out of fuel. On October 30, 2018, NASA announced that it would no longer be used. Kepler's only scientific tool was a photometer, which measured the brightness of about 150,000 main-sequence stars in a fixed field of view. 
This helped scientists find Earth-sized exoplanets in or near habitable zones and figure out how many of the billions of stars in the Milky Way have planets like Earth. These measurements were sent to Earth, where they were then analyzed to find out that some exoplanets cause their host stars to dim every so often when they pass in front of them. Only planets in orbits that can be seen from Earth will be found. Kepler looked at 530,506 stars and found 2,662 planets. The second place spot goes to the International Space Station, or ISS. The ISS is the biggest and most expensive piece of technology ever built. It weighs about 1 million pounds and has cost $160 billion to date. This cutting-edge technology lets people fly at 5 miles per second, which means it takes only 90 minutes to go all the way around Earth. It also lets up to six spaceships be connected to the station at one time. Even though this technology is at the cutting edge, it needs a lot of upkeep. The space station is run by about 50 computers and more than 1.5 million lines of flight software code are supported by more than 3 million lines of software code on the ground. Even though these investments in space are expensive, they are very profitable. The International Space Station is a science lab. As a result, we're learning more about the physical and mental effects of space on the human body. Spirit and Opportunity come in number one. Spirit and Opportunity were two successful Mars rovers that helped people find things on Mars and were smart enough to be controlled from Earth. They landed on almost opposite sides of Mars so they could study the land and the atmosphere. In 2015, they not only took the first color pictures of Mars' surface, but they also found that water flows on Mars sometimes. Both of these rovers lasted much longer than the 90 days they were planned for. This makes them one of NASA's most successful projects. The advanced technologies listed above are just a few of the many that are out there. Putting money into technology has helped us learn a lot about the universe. If it weren't for technology, we wouldn't know as much about space exploration as we do now. On April 10, 2019, for example, Dr. Katie Bowman took the first picture of a black hole. The picture shows a black hole in the middle of galaxy M87, which is about 55 billion light years away. Our knowledge of space is always getting bigger, and technology is a big part of that. We don't know what other kinds of technologies will be invented in the near future. Perhaps one day we will travel at so many speeds, almost much closer or approximately to the speed of light, which would let our astronauts visit more than one galaxy. That's all for today, guys. Don't forget to mention your comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.